Hi guys, it's only been a few days since I brought you this 8th update video about a new transformable Digimon figure series from Bandai Tamashinations named Choshinka Tamashi series or respectively Digivolving Spirit series. And as unbelievable as it sounds, there are now new breathtaking news to report from the official promotion page of Bandai Tamashinations because they have already released another detailed update for their next upcoming Choshinka Tamashi figure. This time of course and as you could already guess is this update about Choshinka Tamashi or Digivolving Spirits 06 Tantomon Atla Kabuterimon or for us, Mega Kabuterimon. Excuse me, but I just couldn't resist to do this. Well, as I said, not necessarily so surprising that the next will be Tentumon Atlo Kabuterimon, because there were, well, as I reported in the last update video, already some hints through those posted images. I think you remember it well and soon afterwards they also posted this official teaser banner for the 06 even tough I did not see it again on the official promotion page of Bandai Tamashi. By the way I forgotten to tell this fact in the English version of my last update video which was about the update of Dorumon Alphamon so I will do it now. Like I said, I forgotten to say in update video 8 that there maybe was also this teaser banner for Alphamon's first announcement on Tamashi's official promotion page. But I personally missed that out and as I went back to the page once again there was already the detailed update about Dorumon Alphamon. But now back to the main topic. As I said, not necessarily very surprising because the cat has already been left out of the bag. What is surprising for me, however, that it is already just now. So I had expected it just early to mid-May, but nice, why not? I also strongly suspect that this Diablomon Twitter photo competition campaign has to do with the special formulated sentence that is now under this. Who is next picture? With the loading bar below. Where you can, as you can see, read following below. Prior publication of lineup information was regrettably sent off. Something seems to be announced soon. What Tamashim wants to say with the first part of the sentence is unclear to me, but I assume that the second part meant the update of Tentomon Artblock Kabuterimon. In addition to mention would be also the already 500 photo tweets breakthrough. Okay, let's get back to the main topic in this video, which is of course mainly about the update of Tentomon Atlor Kabutarimon. The structure of the page with the informations on the individual points and the listed points themselves are again almost the same as by the other previously advertised Choshinka Tamashi figures. So I will try again to make everything as short as possible this time. And I will again make some comments to the points with my own thoughts that come to my mind. Of course, this time the usual informations got fitted to the Tendomon Atlo Kabuterimon figure. And now we start. As you can see on the very top we have, as is usual, the promotion title image, which this time got a beautiful matching design for Tendomon Atlo Kabuterimon. And as I think, it got also very good design especially for Atlo Kabuterimon's form. The design with the green electrifying background and flashes totally 
remembers, remembering on the background of the ultra digivolution scene of Adlo Kabuterimon. In this image you can see the figure for the first time in full view in both evolution forms in high definition. This is especially true for Adlo Kabuterimon's form which we could hardly see before in full form so detailed. Except for this blurry small picture which was posted on the withtheWill.net page which I showed you as the big news par excellence in the last update video. And what is actually the advertising image what will be seen on the back of Alphamon's box which figure will be the next released one? The promotion image if you want to call it this way. As you can see and as usual you can see under the promotion image the information for the reservation of the figure which started in Japan on Friday the 27th of April. And again below the suggested retail price of 7776 yen. That would be about circa 7076 US dollars. So Tendomon at Lokabuterimon would be identical to the past suggested price of Gabumon Metal Garurumon. I would rate that as very positive and relatively cheap because I would have honestly expected Alphamon's high price with significantly more. Because unlike Alphamon, his transformation looks a bit more complex and I think that in engineering terms much more thoughts has gone into the development of this figure. And I believe it was also much harder to create Tendomon at Lokabuterimon since first both forms like I mentioned in the last video just looking stunning are very detailed and very accurately proportioned. Second because there is no old figure version of this existing which they could take as reverence for creating the new one and so they also had to create and produce completely new injection molds for it. Because as you will surely know the Choshinka series figure of that time has transformed from the Kabuterimon form into Adla Kabuterimon's form. Third, let's face it, Dorumon Alphamon is just a shell former which you just have to stand upright from a sitting position to transform him and most of the parts of the Dorumon form will be flipped away to become the cape. Underneath, as you can see, are the different colored update buttons with the help of which you can switch between different sections of the page and to which another new one has been added for the update of Tendomon Adlo Kabuterimon. Below the update buttons we can see here two more funny illustrations of Kenji Watanabe of Tendomon. The left one is likely to be Choshinka Tamashi Tendomon's form in his own hands and another photo below showing Hiroyuki Kakudo with Tendomon's form in his hands as well as Kenji Watanabe with Adler Kabuterimon's form and the third well known person whose name I do not know. Unfortunately the Japanese words under the illustrations and under the photo cannot be translated with the translation function of the page so I cannot tell you what it is about. But it would be of course very very interesting to know what they are about. Now we coming to the first point that is again the ditch evolving. That again as you can see was accompanied with, by such a typical transformation image. 
And like you can read the information telling you following. The sixth at Lokabuterimon is newly designed and designed as lineup as a lineup that had not been released in the past Super Evolution series. Changes in body color before and after evolution from Tentomon to Atlo Caputarimon are also reproduced as much as possible by perfect deformation gimmick of replacement pier. Due to the painted finishes and detailed deformation st structure, due to the Tentomon Atlo Caputarimon at the time of the Atlo Caputarimon, it is a surprising figure reproducing the perfect proportions from any angle as seen from any angle. In addition, as the feathers move during Tentomon, it is possible to reproduce the impressive poses in the play too. Well, those texts and words are again very, very strange. However, there is again, as you can see, the strange word deformation gimmick instead instead of transformation gimmick and it is again with the pure fruit purse instead of parts which is the totally wrong word for parts if excuse me the totally wrong word for parts I have already explained that in detail in the update video of Angevomon and Diablomon and had criticized it if you can still remember. In the last update video for Alphamon I had praised them that they finally replaced in their text the somewhat unfortunate formulated designation of deformation gimmick by calling it transformation gimmick finally. And now it is again wrong and they even used to my great fright again the completely wrong word with the pure fruit instead of calling it parts. Furthermore, they also used the wrong word for Tendermon sports, which they called feathers, which I personally would call wing covers by an insect. Well, very very strange guys, but enough. I think you can agree to what? To that without any doubt if it would be formulated correctly. But anyway, I had given more than positive expression of my total excitement about Atla Caputarimon's form's perfect looks since this blurry image in my last update video and also previously to Tendermon's look in other update videos before. Here you see for the first time how perfect yet the wrong sequence of evolution stages, which many people have often criticized before, has a positive effect on the look and accuracy of the two evolution forms, thereby making both forms truly realistic, accurate, perfectly detailed and proportioned as far as you can judge so far. This also in terms for the coloring. The only detail that is not so accurately proportioned is the middle foot piece which is shorter than the two outer ones, I guess maybe due transformation ability. I mean that foot piece of Adler Caputariumon's form by the way. As I had recently suspected it is now 100% clear through this transformation image that you can turn Tendermon's black dots around for an accurate back view of Adler Caputarimon. I also hope that you also can cover the black dot in the middle between Tendermon's wing covers somehow for Adler Caputarimon's accurate rear view or also can turn them around. Maybe. And I think you can fully understand the thoughts to go the wrong way of evolution by the new ones. Of course, I would have personally more a remake of the past Super Evolutions figure of Caputarimon to Adler Caputarimon desired, quite simply for the realistic way of the evolution stages. 
But if we are honest, I think that in the new version Capitarimon's form would not have looked much better than the old one, because I think that they could not have conceived much differently than by the one from the past. This figure only looks very good in Adler Capitarimon's form because he can simply hide all parts of Capitarimon's form under his carapace. And the transformation was and is kind of cool because the system is similar to the original evolution scene where Capitarimon two pairs of wings folding into form his carapace. If you now hide the sharp design of the new generation, Adler Capitarimon's form of that time has only one flaw and that is his too short horn which could not have been bigger due to the transformation and compromise for a slightly better look for Capitarimon's form. At Capitarimon's forms Logically, all parts of the Adler Capitarimon form remain on Capitarimon's back. As you can see, Capitarimon's rear view is peppered with kibble parts from Adler Capitarimon's form. But since you can easily take off a lot of the pieces at that time, you are able to de detach all of the annoying parts that do not belong to the respective Evo form just as I have always done. As you might have seen, I detached all four arm pieces of the Caputarimon form for Adler Caputarimon's form, which you can see here again. Otherwise, they would hang down on the inside of the sides of the carapace and the Caputarimon's arms would still be visible behind. By taking off the Adler Caputarimon parts from Caputarimon's back, there is definitely an improved rear view and even a side view of Caputarimon's form. As you can see, you can completely take off the larger pair of arms and the leg parts of Adler Caputarimon's form. The result is also more space for a better pose ability of Caputarimon's legs. All that remains is Adler Caputarimon's huge head between the wings on the back of Caputarimon's form. But I'm already drifting away from the actual topic, so back quickly. And so we would be on the second point, the materials. In the Super Evolution Spirit we also pursue a sense of texture when taken in hands. Adler Capitarimon's horn, chest parts and so on, boldly using die casting, highlighting texture. Furthermore, clear parts are used for the compound eye part of Tendermon and the insect likeness is reproduced. Overall, using the molding color with a matte texture to a finish with a sense of quality. Again, it is very interesting to find out what parts of Adler Caputarimon are die-cast. However, the die-cast style does not necessarily match an insect as in real Adler Caputarimon has no striking metal parts and no armor parts which should be made of metal. Because he is just more realistic and represented as a monster beetle and insects in real reality have an exogenous skeleton of chitin. But it's the style of the new Digivolving Spirits figure series that they all have those diecast parts on them and it's not that bad either. Had thought that might be the head would be made of diecast because that is the only part of Adler Capitarimon that you could interpret as a helmet because it is very clear for Caputarimon's head that this is made of metal and in a way it interprets the look of a metal helmet. But enough about that. All the better I find the insect-like design of Tendermon's eyes and how it has been implemented so perfectly that they really imitate such a faceted-like look which is typical 
poor insect eyes. And that they have decided for overall matte color design of the ports fits perfectly to Tendermons as well as to Adler Caputariumon's real look and is not to be disc fashioned as it is with Alphamon's matte color design's choice. Matte color design choice. The better. Excuse me please. The point proportions does not exist this time because as you may have already noticed they linked it to the text of Digivolving. So with that we are already coming to the last point of this update video which is again option and package. This means as you can see again the option parts and the total content of the box. And like you can see on this point the following has been written. At the time of Tendermon, Adler Caputarimon comes with a base that can be used for both. Specification that can withstand long-term exhibition. The package also uses Mr. Kenji Watanabe's new drawing up illustration this time. Look forward to opening the design. Below these breathtaking pictures we have the link to the official product page of Tamaji. And below a new very beautiful promotion image where as you can see Adler Caputarimon is nicely staged along with the other previously released characters from Adventure Zero One in their final evolution forms. If we include Angel Woman now but it's not that long anymore until her release. And as you can see in the small picture section there are they together in the rookie forms. Tough Tailmon is of course already on her champion level but you forgot that because of her size and cuteness always very fast. I'm already as you certainly are too really excited about what's coming out of this who's next picture when the loading bar is full first. By now it is already half full. Well, let's just surprise ourselves. With that we would have arrived again the end of this update video. As always I hope I could tell you new and interesting facts about Tamashi's official promotion page. Thank you for your attention and saying goodbye. Stay tuned for further of such update videos from me to do it well, your Mega 88 1000. <laughs> I'm
を守れ愛する人たくましい自分になれるさ壊せ弱気な君を崩せ